we go. We got a little 17-piece going right now. We got a 7-streak. Get freaking traced on, dude. Let's go. Oh my god, let's go! What? Let's go! You can't stop the chicken, bro! You can't stop me! What's going on guys this is when and welcome back to another video today we are going to talk about my hud how i play four finger claw and answer one of the most requested things i get on the channel which is how do i play pubg mobile and i always get asked am i a thumbs player or am i a claw player and i'm like guys there's a hand cam right here man you see this see this beautiful thing up here it shows my hands so you can look and see if I'm a thumbs player or not. Maybe it's hard to see, I don't know. But to answer the age old question, apparently it's really hard to see. I do indeed play claw. I play with four fingers. See these on the on the camera right here? I use my index fingers and I use my thumbs. So I am a good old fashioned four finger claw player. I mean, I've got a big enough device. I might as well use as many fingers as I can. Uh, and I found that four is like the most comfortable way to play. So we're gonna go and take a look at my HUD. I just changed it up. I kind of feel like I perfected it, although of course nothing's ever perfect, but I definitely made it a lot better between season seven and season eight. So I didn't wanna go switching it up a whole ton because I didn't wanna go messing everything up while I was trying to push for Conqueror. But now that it's season eight, it's a new fresh season. I got reset back down to platinum. I'm gonna start pushing again pretty soon on the channel, but I wanted to perfect my HUD because I was having some trouble really getting down those advanced movements that you see a lot of pro players doing. And that is, of course, being able to crouch, lean, and peek, use the, kind of that next level mechanics for how they navigate the battlefield. And if you notice my gameplay, unfortunately, you know, I'm being pretty self-critical here. It's very, like, one or two-dimensional. Like, I kind of do a lot of full-body peeks. I hop out, and I'm just... I guess I'm quick enough with my fingers that I can usually shoot and kill somebody before they like can kill me. But obviously if I want to be more efficient, it'd probably be better to actually peek and like expose less of my body. Uh, especially because I am wearing the biggest freaking costume, maybe with the exception of the Godzilla outfit. But when you're playing as a chicken, I have to use every little advantage I can because I'm pretty easy to see and pretty easy to hit. So, notably, the largest changes that I've made between my last season and this season was I put the crouch button up here at the top of my right index finger the top right of my control scheme i kind of have four different sections here i've got the top left which is exclusively used for shooting the bottom left which is exclusively used for my movement and i've tried different things where i put my peak and lean buttons like over on the top left or the bottom right and i've tried different things and i always accidentally hit them and one big tip that i have for you guys when it comes to peaking and leaning specifically so if we look at some of these other buttons let's look at the aiming button right here i'll make it nice and uh, opaque so you can see it do you notice how it's a circle and when I tap on it it still is like an or it like lights up orange same with the crouch button that is a circle same with the jump button that's a circle but for some reason when you tap the peek and lean buttons it's a square I don't understand that look at that it's a circle button yet the hitbox for it is a square so I actually originally had my peek and lean button up here over top of my analog or over top of my aiming uh, but do you see the problem this creates is that the square overlaps with the aim button or like the scope button and overlaps with the jumps so i was mistapping all the time so i have decided to uh basically put my peek and lean buttons down here out of the way and i'm gonna put the crouch up here another issue that i had before was the crouch button was way down at the bottom and it made it difficult uh, for me to crouch in an instant right when i needed to get low get down closer to the ground without necessarily going prone it was harder for me to do that so most of the time my combat like i said was very one or two dimensional and i would be standing most of the time um, very rarely was able to use more of like a vertical orientation to defend myself whether it was getting low or going prone it's just i threw the buttons down here in the bottom corner and uh, they're a bit hard for me to reach so now that i have the crouch button up here i can use my index finger not only to be aiming jumping or now i've kind of worked in a bit more of that movement with the crouch button the prone button's not too hard for me to hit and i find that i have to go prone a lot less than i crouch so it's okay for me to keep the button down here same with the peak and lean buttons i found the perfect little placement for them where they're not in the way of my thumb trying to swipe to look around right i didn't want to accidentally touch uh, or tap these peak buttons and i found that this spot's okay and the other little problem i had before we get into some gameplay with this hud 
is the eyeball button. So I had it like right here and I realized when I'm trying to look around while flying in, the parachute button is on top of it and you can't move the parachute button, which is so stupid. So I have to move the eyeball button just down a little bit where it's still usable, but it's also doesn't overlap the parachute button. So when I'm like flying into military base, I can look around and see where everybody is around me. Other than that, you can see where I have my buttons. It's a pretty simple thing. Scope button too, that also is uh, used on my top right index finger on my right side. That is pretty much my, I think my most important finger. That has the most utility here. We're crouching, we're aiming, we're jumping, we're changing scopes, even using like, you know, enemies ahead and stuff, all with this finger right here. Uh, I think the biggest weakness with this HUD is, like I said, shooting and moving. That's the only thing my left hand is doing. Uh, but like, you know, I've tried to do other stuff where like I had peek and lean buttons like over here, that didn't really work. Um, I don't want to put crouch over here because I have like a very, I'm going to just exit out of this. I moved everything around, so I want to not save that. All right, this is back to what I normally run. So I'm going to move a couple things around here real quick. Uh, so what I like to do in my advice for you guys, probably the part that you've been waiting for in this whole video is my advice when it comes to HUDs. You definitely want to be able to maximize the amount of things you can do at one time. Think about a regular thumbs player who only has two points of contact on the screen at any given time. That means they can only do two different things. You can either be moving and looking around or like moving and shooting, but you can't like look around and shoot at the same time because you've got those things on the same finger. So I try to isolate out and pull out different actions for each finger that uh, I normally would want to be doing at the same time, right? So I think one of the things that I'm really good at that, uh, you know, is the one thing I think is my strength is let's say I'm running across an open field or like there's trees and stuff. If someone starts shooting at me from behind or from like an angle, I'm very, I think, quick when it comes to identifying where they are. And because I've got this specific HUD, I can move, I can jump, look over to them and shoot all four different fingers like at once i can do like a quick like uh you know jump turn around move and like start shooting back at them or at least make myself a harder target to hit obviously with thumbs you can't do that or you want to be careful because what if i had my let's say uh like moving and jumping like down here like let's say i had these both at the same spot i'm gonna be moving but then i'm gonna have to like take my finger off to quickly jump and like yeah if you're quick with your thumbs like you can do that right but you might as well try to limit the amount of like dead time you're gonna have and dead time would mean like let's say i had all these buttons like let's just what's a bad example of like a terrible hud let's say i had like all my buttons up here right and let's say i had my fire button something stupid right you'd never have a hud like this now like i've isolated all these buttons to one finger right so this would be a bad claw setup you have to like aim then shoot like or crouch like you ha these are all things that you would technically have to do one at a time because your finger can only be tapping like one button now obviously if you're playing like five or six finger claw and you guys are getting freaky with it whatever like up to you you know but for four finger claw if you're trying to learn the setup if you're trying to learn claw where you can incorporate more than just your thumbs this is uh, a good way to do it and it's isolating everything out so now because i've pulled all these buttons onto separate fingers i can be doing quick quick actions like moving and shooting and aiming and crouching all at the same time or uh, let's say uh, like my bottom thumb I can't really like be looking around and then like a lot of players I've seen they put their shooting buttons over here and it's like super confusing to me because I'm like how can you be looking around with your thumb and then you have to like shoot you can't do both of those at the same time if you put your button down here it's impossible for you to like be looking and shooting that's why it's pretty smart to have you know your your thumbs that are using the uh like looking in analog they're like pretty dedicated to those two things unless it's a quick tap to like prone or a quick tap in my case to peek and lean my left th my right thumb is not doing anything else it's really my index fingers that control a lot of the actions that i'm doing such as scoping crouching jumping shooting um and then you know a couple exceptions but of course always play with what's comfortable for you this is what i found to work for me and because this is a new hud we're going to jump into some team deathmatch because i found that that's the best way to practice uh you need quick very repetitive fast like lots of cover and angles you know the best type of gameplay to learn is the faster paced gameplay uh, i definitely if you're switching up your hud don't go into classic matches right away you're probably just going to get clapped and even after practicing myself i've ran into a couple instances where my crouch button you know for seven seasons it was down on my bottom right i'm just now getting used to it being on my top right so there was one fight where i was like 
crap, I gotta go, I gotta, like, crouch, and even still, like, my muscle memory, I was tapping down there real fast, and I was like, oh, crap, wait, my crouch button's up here, but, of course, I'd already died, because I made that grave mistake, so, but we're gonna hop into some TDMs now, and see if we can ball out with this new HUD, rack up some high kill games, and try to use that peak and lean stuff a bit more, because I do know that's something that I want to personally get better at, I see a lot of pros that just dominate with the leaning and peaking, and a lot of people are like, dude, why don't you, like, why do you full body peak all the time, and I'm like, look, <laughs> I just never really got used to the lean peak buttons. So that's my goal for today. Let's hop in and hopefully clap some people. All right, Team here we match. go. Let's go. Definitely a word of advice. I would enable the lean and scope option. <laughs> okay. All right, shrug it off. No problemo. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay, you know what? If I'm not getting a good start to these games, I'm literally just quitting. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh nice, we got Kermit with Clorox. That's that is a wonderful teammate right there. Indeed. Oh my gosh, Team maybe match. drop all the ammo? Let's go. Why though? Reloading. This blue team has scored for the first time. Cover me. Oh, I got a bolt. Crap, I got a bolt. Kill. There we go. Reloading. Forgot I had to bolt my gun once you pull it out. Killing spree for the blue team. Nice shot. You're gonna have to pick your gun a little faster than that, man. Where you? What are you doing, bro? Get wrecked. Oh my gosh. Why does he always have to rebolt his gun? He's always trying to rebolt. Dead. Woo! Yo, what's happening right now? Oh shoot, he didn't. Oh shoot, what? There we go, there we go. I knew he had one HP. I gotta be careful, yo. I'm ripping right now. They might try to frag me. The blue team is in the lead. Oh, he's he doesn't even look spawn protected. There we go. <laughs> I think they quit. I would have quit. They're just getting bodied right now. I kind of want to keep my streak up. We got a 13 streak. Oh, that's... Oh, my gosh. I hate the desync in freaking TDM. Like, no, more than any other game mode, when you get around corners or walls, it just... It's like, yep, you're dead anyway. Alright, let's push it to the limit. Kill. 
Oh my god, we almost got him with the with the crouch shot. Not a full drop shot. Almost got him with the crouch shot. <laughs> what are you doing, man? You can't have your back to our spawn when you're in our end. Bolt your dang gun! No! No! Dead. <laughs> Blue team victory! That's hilarious. The dude was he was ADS and never even saw me come on the side. What a scrub. Alright, well that was a good game. We got one down. 21 11 KDR, man. Alright, let's go. Let's get it. Let's grab a little team bit of extra match. ammo. Let's go. No, 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 no. Get that. Get that M7, fam. Where is it? There we go. Little extra ammo. Never hurt anybody. First point for the red team. Oh, my teammate got clapped. Cover me. Get wrecked, mate. What? Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, sh oh, where'd that guy come from? What? <laughs> I didn't even know that guy was there. No freaking idea that guy was there. Oh, I got a hit marker through the... What? What? How do you get a hit marker on a prone guy when he's facing you and it doesn't count as a kill? Oh my god. Just die already. What? Oh god, I think it's gonna blow. Oh shoot. Oh my god, I got shredded. I got shredded like a bag of cheese, baby. Woo. Give me that HP regen, please. What? Did he shoot me through the... Oh my lord. I think he could, like, see my leg or something dumb. Honestly, these guys aren't bad. And he has no HP. I promise you that man has no HP. I'm like, I know you're not that good, bro. Reloading. All right, let's chill. Let's chill. We get some HP back. Oh, shoot! I got distracted. Whoops. I literally have half my team's points right now, so... I mean, it's like a good game, but it's a close game. We've got to just... we got to tighten up here. It's a dumb play. I'm going to 2x here. <laughs> the double. Oh, the double. The triple. Oh, 
Oh shoot. Killing spree for the blue team. Reloading. Here we go. Yo, single-handedly brought it back, baby. Cover me. I'm gonna push up the side. I knew it. I'm like, they're coming. There we go. We got a little 17 piece going right now. We got a seven streak. Get freaking traced on, dude. Let's go. Oh my god, let's go! What? Let's go! You can't stop the chicken, bro! You can't stop me! You're about to win. The red team doesn't have a lot of time left. Oh, I couldn't pull my recoil down on that guy. I just couldn't get it, man. The red team is unstoppable, really. They're playing ultra conservatively. Blue team victory. That was the freaking final blow. Let's go. Dude got, he didn't even know what hit him, man. He's going to be in the lobby still wondering how he got sniped that badly, dog. Let's go. 22, 3.7. All right, we had a sloppy KDR that time, but that was a good game. Yo, Mr. Pat and Josh, I salute you, bro. 22 kills. Nice job, my man. All right, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. A little TDM action. I always like to keep it on the channel in some capacity. Not every video, but it is an amazing game mode if I, you know, can get the time to sit down and just play it and enjoy it so i hope you guys learned something about my hud hopefully some tips for helping you craft your own hud it's the beginning of season eight so there's never a better time to experiment around and fix your button layout or try something completely new because in the early season it doesn't really matter that much so anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you're new here we are well on our way to 7,000 subs so thank you guys already if you have sub but anyway that's all i have for you guys so i will see you next time